Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo E14 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this model. If yours comes with an 8 gig or 4 gig or 2 gig, whatever it comes, you can upgrade it and it's really really easy. Also, if people keep asking me what are the maximum RAM capacity for my laptop, we have upgraded this one up to 16 gig. You can go up to 16 gig, but if you want to know exactly how much RAM you can have capacity, check the link on my video description. I made a really short video that you can find by yourself the maximum capacity on your laptop. And by the upgrading the RAM, you do not need to back up your files or anything like that. It's totally just plug and play. And I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one will be a screwdriver set. You're going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made out of the S2 class steel, that means they're really tough in steel and they will last you many years. If you do get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a photo opening tool and a guitar pick. A guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Alright, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. Power off the laptop, flip it upside down and on the bottom cover you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. This is screw, they do have a little C lock on the other side, that means we'll prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is twist, twist, until you feel the screw that is really loose. So you know, no matter how much I unscrew this one, it will not come out. So you wanna do enough turns in here and you wanna feel that wiggly thing and that's it. Also, if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys through your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking that like and support. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we loosen up all the screws down here, all you need to do is to lift up the laptop a little, open it up a little bit if you want to. And we want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. Try to squeeze it somewhere over there, about one or two millimeters. And then you just want to twist it back inward, just toward the keyboard, just going to go like that. And you want to hear a tiny, tiny flex or big sound, doesn't matter. Just want to twist it all around the front end and the side, both sides you want to do it. All the way to the back corner. Once I do the front and the sides, I don't need to do the back end. All I do, I grab it from front, wiggle it around a little bit, and it will release the back side. There's a tiny clip. But if you want, you can just do the back end too. All right. Now down here, we can see the battery and the RAM. There's only one slot RAM available. And uh, sometimes if you follow my video to see your max RAM capacity, it will tell you that, or oh, in even in the task manager, you say that you have two slot or four slot, that's incorrect. You only have one slot. And the reason is because of the BIOS knows, doesn't know that how many slots is being installed on the motherboard and it's programmed for two or three slots or four slots. But in here, there's only one upgradable RAM. So to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put two fingers at the side of the triggers and pull them away from each other. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to slide it backward in 45 degree angle. This one is an eight gig DDR4. You can put a 16 gig DDR4 right in here. So imagine this is your 16 gig. Make sure the notch matches the notch right on the dim, which is in the middle somewhere, a little offset to the middle. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. So make sure the notch matches, bring it down through the jack in 45 degree angle and squeeze it towards the jack and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hear these two triggers clicking right there. Also, you do not need to remove the battery at all to do this upgrade. It's totally safe. There's no need to remove the battery. But for those paranoid people, all you need to do is to pull this uh, leverage thing that you have in here backward and it will get disconnected. But you do not need to. Once you put your new RAM in there, all you need to do is put the bottom cover right on top, squeeze the sides squeeze the corners and tighten up the screws that you loosen up on the bottom cover. Just remember once you power on it might take 5 to 10 seconds to boot up because it's going to detect that RAM has been changed and it will do a memory check and that will be all. 
If you guys like this video, please click that like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.